Hello everybody, this is Fadi again from Parametric BIM and in this tutorial we are going to introduce the basics of TopoSolid in Revit 2025 or 2024. As you know, uh, in the previous versions, uh, 2023 and earlier, the TopoSolid was not like that, it was uh, the Tobo surface, but it was changed and something uh, like that changed for the basics of how to deal with this uh, component in uh, Revit so uh, we, ha we will learn together in series of tutorials how to deal with this component or this command which is the topo solid and how to uh, make our buildings to adapt with the uh, topography around it so without further addition let's start to learn the new feature in Revit 2024 and 2025 which is the TopoSolid but before we get started I would like to ask you to subscribe and follow the channel for more tutorials in the future uh, the TopoSolid is the new feature in Revit 2024 and 2025 it was uh, previously as a topo topography in uh, Revit 2023 and earlier and uh, it was a new feature here so in this feature uh, we will learn together how to create a topo solid in order to create topo solid I have to go to massing inside and then I have a topo solid here I have two option here one is the create from sketch and the other is a create from import uh, whether it's a CAD file or uh, an Excel spreadsheet uh, from the surveyors so uh, in this tutorial we are going to introduce the first one which is the create from sketch so if I click here you can see that I am going to go to uh, the sketch mode here in the uh, modify tool uh, uh, toolbar so uh, I can even so I can even now sketch any topo solid that I want so the, here there is an offset which is from the level that I want to uh, draw the topo solid from it and here we have also extend into wall if we have building and we will see together uh, in next tutorials uh, how to uh, create the topo solid around the building so if I want to now to create a topo solid by simple way I can draw any shape I want so if I call to a rectangular here and now try to place any rectangular sketch here so I have here some dimension let's say 25 meter and 25 meter I think it is okay now let's delete this so 25 by 25 okay so this is a square which is a simple sketch that we want to create a topo solid from it so once I click now finish you can see let's see that in the 3d view that I have created a topo solid here and which is extremely uh, flat which means that it is in level one such as on the floor and it have some uh, thickness here so this is different from the topography in 2020 uh, Revit 2023 and earlier uh, and we can see now how to adjust this and in the next tutorial we also learn together how to convert the topography to topo solid I don't why Autodesk make this uh, let's say uh, improvement I don't know if it is improvement or not but let's say together how to work with this work around this uh, in order to create a topography such as in the previous versions so if I click here I have now the opportunity to edit the sketch so I can so I can now edit the sketch that I have for the top solid that we have created so you can go now play with these lines maybe we can create something like that like that like that and we have to close the boundary so I have to remove this line and then let's say that so by this way you can adjust your 
sketch of the topography or the boundary of the site that you have uh, according to uh, your site so this is the first tip in the topo solid and now we have to go to other things uh, so if I now want to adjust the elevations of this topo solid simply you have to go to modify sub element and then you can select this one and maybe you can drag this to another level like that so simply it will convert your site but in this boundary it will not take because maybe for some uh, boundary limitations or constraints so this is the idea of how to uh, modify the elevation let's try this and try to make also elevation yes it worked and also this one maybe it worked so this this is the basics of how to modify this if I modify this point only it will just only modify the elevation of this point so by this way you can adjust the uh, boundaries of or the elevations of your site uh, and topo solid so this is the next one now if I want to add point here you can add point at any uh, location of your topo solid this is work uh, like the floor so in this improvement I understand that uh, Autodesk developed the topography or the topo surface in the older versions to be like a floor and you can work around it so if I click on add point here I have now some options here in the elevation base from where you want to add this point in the elevation of this point so we have offset from the surface here so you can now uh, add offset from the level that you want so if I am in the current level which is level 1 as you see here in the project browser and I click in the current level you can now put 2 for example and if I click here it will go 2 meters above the current level so this is not let's see together this is not level 1 but the current level that you are in so this is 2 meter from level 2 as you see so this is the first option and you can play around this for example the project base point if the project base point in level 1 or lower or higher it will take the offset from the option that you select from this so this is the idea of these options to work in the topo solid and now let's see something else here uh, now if I click on the topo solid and as you can see here we have reset shape so if I click on uh, reset shape it will ask me if uh, you are about to restore the selected topo solid to its original flat shape are you sure you want to continue so if I click OK it will reset the shape that we start from but not the sketch because the sketch we edited the sketch from the first so here it will uh, reset the shape according to the elevation that we have started from the beginning and if you want to return back you have to edit the sketch and then okay delete this you can draw from the top and you can click on the line and return back to the symbol square that we have from the beginning of the tutorial so this is the basics of how to uh, modify the turbo service or the turbo solid 
uh, in uh, rivet 2024 and 2025 and above uh, now let's see another thing here let's check about the split line so uh, in the split line it will tell us that adds linear edges of reshaping the selected roof floor and topo solid geometry so it deals with the topo solid as the roof and the floor here so we can split now once I click on split as you can see I can now draw from any point uh, I want so if I came here to the middle and to the other opposite middle here you can see that the topo solid here will be divided by two so if I return back now and modify the sub element also I can now for example if I select this line it will deal with this topography or topo solid as separated from the other one so the exchange here will be from the line that we have split the topo solid with it and also if I came here and drag this above you can see that it will deal with this one as separated so if I click outside of them it will give me this shape so this is the split line of how to deal with it it will split the topo solid to two separated topo solids so now this is enough for this tutorial i wish that if you have interested in these kind of tutorials please like share and subscribe the channel for more tutorials in the future. See you later.